Let's meet the finalists for the 2023 Harlan Hill Trophy. Representing Super Region 1 from Hillsdale College, senior running back Michael Herzog. Herzog, the lone running back named a Harlan Hill finalist in 2023, became the first Charger voted a Hill finalist since 2018 and the second finalist in the 11-year history of the Great Midwest Athletic Conference. He broke the conference record and finished third in the country with 21 total touchdowns. He finished fourth in Division II in all-purpose yards. Against Ohio Dominican, he matched the school record and set a conference record for rushing touchdowns in a game when he scored five times in the 35-17 victory. And from Slippery Rock, junior quarterback Braden Long. Long became Slippery Rock's fourth different Harlan Hill finalist in the last six seasons as he led the Rock to 12 victories and a spot in the Division II quarterfinals. He threw for a PSAC leading 3,808 yards with 35 touchdowns against only six interceptions. His 69.3% completion percentage ranked fourth in the country. He threw multiple touchdowns in eight contests. Long paced Super Region 1 in passing yards, passing touchdowns, completion percentage, and passer efficiency rating. Representing Super Region 2 from Valdosta State, junior quarterback Sammy Edwards. In his first season as the Blazers quarterback, Edwards came within four yards of establishing a school record for passing yards in a season, as he threw for 4,223 yards to go along with 34 touchdown passes. He completed the season second in the country in passing yards. He recorded seven 300-yard passing games. He twice threw six touchdown passes in a game. He became the program's first Harlan Hill finalist since Rogan Wells earned consecutive top four finishes in 2018 and 2019. And from Delta State, senior quarterback Patrick Shegog. Shegog finished his senior season as the first Division II quarterback since 2021 to record at least 30 touchdown passes and 10 rushing touchdowns in a season as he accounted for a total of 44 touchdowns. He threw 32 touchdown passes against only two interceptions. His 16 to 1 touchdown to interception ratio led the country. He led the Gulf South Conference and ranked fourth in the nation in pass efficiency. He surpassed two career milestones during the season, 10,000 yards of total offense and 100 total touchdowns. Representing Super Region 3 from Emporia State, senior quarterback Braden Gleason. Gleason became the third Hornet named a Hill finalist since Brian Shea won the 1998 award. He posted the highest completion percentage by a Division II quarterback since 2018 as he finished the season completing 73.9% of his attempts. He ranked second in the nation with 47 touchdown passes against only three interceptions. In his regular season finale, he threw six touchdown passes and followed up by throwing for 405 passing yards and six touchdown passes in a victory at the Heritage Bowl. From Southern Nazarene, senior quarterback Gage Porter. Porter, the Crimson Storm's first ever Harlan Hill finalist, broke his own Division II single season record for rushing yards by a quarterback when he ran for 1,987 yards. His total led all of college football by more than 200 yards. He became the first quarterback to lead the country in rushing in the Harlan Hill era. His 28 rushing touchdowns also paced all of college football. He became only the second quarterback in Division II history with 5,000 passing yards and 5,000 rush yards in a career. And from Central Missouri, junior quarterback Zach Zabrowski. Zabrowski became the third mule quarterback ever tabbed a Harlan Hill finalist. He became the first Division II quarterback and just the sixth quarterback in all of college football to throw for at least 60 touchdowns in a season with a record-breaking 61 TD passes. Additionally, he set the D2 single season record for total offense as he accumulated 5,690 yards. He established new UCM and MIAA records for passing touchdowns, passing yards, and total offense in a single game. Representing Super Region 4 from Colorado School of Mines, senior quarterback John Matoka. Matoka, the winner of the 2022 Harlan Hill Award, has led the Ore Diggers to the Division II National Championship game for the second straight season. During the 2023 season, he broke Division II records for passing touchdowns and total touchdowns. 
His 190 total touchdowns rank as an all-time record for all of college football. This season, he reached the 4,000-yard passing mark and 40-touchdown milestone for the second straight year, as he set school and conference records for all-time passing yards and total offensive yards in a career. Finally, from Central Washington, junior safety Tanner Volk. Volk, the first defensive back named a Harlan Hill finalist since 2003, picked off 13 passes, the most by a Division II player since 2007, and one shy of matching the division's all-time single-season mark. The 13 interceptions gave him five more than any other college player. In addition to the interceptions, his 124 total tackles led the country. He notched 8.5 tackles for loss, a forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. He led the Wildcats to the quarterfinals of the D2 playoffs for the first time since 2009. And the winner of the 37th Harlan Hill Trophy as Division II College Football Player of the Year is Zach Zabrowski from the University of Central Missouri. Zabrowski back to pass. Steps up, has a man, Arkell in the end zone, caught touchdown! Between three defenders. That was dropped on a dime. Zabrowski received 45 first place votes to total 200 points. Matoka finished in second, while Edwards placed third. Thank you for watching the presentation of the 2023 Harlan Hill Trophy. The Little Rock Touchdown Club will present Zabrowski with the Harlan Hill Award at its year-end banquet on Friday, January 12, 2024.